Welcome to Munchkin Land, a show where we sit around and play board games, and we're back. Man, it has been too long since we've been here to play some Arkham Horror, and once again... Has it been too long? I, I think it's been... I think it's been not long enough. I, I'm, I'm concerned. I'm concerned about that thing on your head. I'm concerned, Stephen, that you are not appropriately dressed for a... Uh, you know, I'm not wearing pants. A journey into uh, into the jungle. Oh, of into the jungle. We yeah. are starting. Yeah. What is this? The you third like, expansion. You don't like my hat? I mean, it's it's jungle appropriate. You don't like it? I think you probably should take it off. You don't think a board game video with the? Uh, I mean, hat you're not Tom Vassell, right? So, no, no. no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got a hat here. <laughs> we are starting on the third uh, expansion. I think this is the third expansion, right? Deluxe expansion. Yes, of Arkham Horror, the living card game. And this time we are going, as Brett said, deep into the heart of Mexico, looking for Yig, the snake god, and anything associated with that. It should be a lot of a lot of fun. I'm going to read from the prologue first, and then we can talk about our characters right. and get into the game. You, you go. Tuesday, June 2nd, 1925. There will be no rest for us this summer, it seems. Today I met with Harlan Earnstone a historical theorist at Miskatonic University and an old friend of mine. He'd said he had a job offer for me, but frankly, I didn't know what to expect. Harlan introduced me to an associate of his, Alejandro Vea, a distinguished historian from across the southern border. Mr. Vea is a graduate of a prestigious university in Mexico City and has spent many years researching the Aztec Empire. He claims he found evidence regarding the existence of an unheard-of Aztec city-state called Etzli, his strange and unprecedented findings were not accepted by the university, and he's become, par uh, become a pariah among his peers. Alejandro came to Arkham to seek funding for an expedition into the rainforest of southern Mexico, where he believes that the ruins of the Etsy, uh, at, at, at Lepe? I don't know how, to, I'm guessing that's a ruin, <laughs> lie undiscovered. His description of the city's state origins defy, uh, defies modern understanding of the Mesoamerican history. Despite this... Uh, or knowing my old friend because of this, Harlan is enthralled by the Alejandro's discoveries. Miskatonic University has agreed to fund the expedition, although meagerly, and Harlan wants me to go along. The way I see it, there's a good chance we're looking for something that doesn't even exist. But if there's even a slight chance these Etsley people existed, the historical significance would be profound. We debated the issue for some time, but in the end we accepted Alejandro's offer, Preparations are underway, and we should be setting off by the end of the month. With any luck, we'll have this journal filled with all manner of interesting discoveries. If not, perhaps it'll be a nice wedge to place beneath Harlan's lopsided desk. So we'll see you in a month when we arrive in Mexico. Thanks for watching this week's episode. And no, just kidding. So here's the thing. It says, if Ursula Downs, Leo Anderson, or Monterey Jack was chosen as an investigator for this campaign, then you become the expedition leader. All right. I am playing Finn Edwards, the criminal. Um, but that's not me. I'm not one of those three people. I am. And and what's your deal? I am Leo Anderson. He has spent his whole life getting into the deadliest and most obscure corners of the globe. Along the way, he's lost good people. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep. Uh, he often questions whether such academic pursuits have been worth the lives lost. His most recent expedition, an ill-fated voyage to Nan Madal to recover Olosufa's almanac, ended in complete disaster. Mitch was the only one of his people to survive, or at the very least, to remain human. Leo is sick of burying people who trusted him, but now he knows these expeditions aren't purely academic in nature, and he won't quit until the job is done. Great. And I'm playing, uh, as I said, Finn, Finn Edwards, the bootlegger. Prohibition was the best thing that happened to Finn Edwards until they banned alcohol. Oh, until they banned alcohol, he was just drifting through life. That doesn't make sense the first time. I said, somebody's trying to be funny here at Fantasy Flight. Doing odd jobs here and there. But afterward, the demand for alcohol rose to such a fever pitch that he was able to make a living evading the law and giving people what they wanted. His new lifestyle particularly suited his personality, providing him with a taste of danger and plenty of cash. He never got caught and never lost a delivery. Now he's wrapped up in some kind of supernatural conspiracy, but in the end, he uh, adheres to the same principle. Deliver the goods, don't get caught. Excellent. Yes. So this game is a little different. They've added a couple of new features to the game that I think 
viewers who haven't already seen this, because this game's been out for hmm, almost a year and a half now yeah. at this point, yeah. I think. So there are a couple of things. One of the first things is this idea of the explorer action. Mm -hmm. And so what happens, especially when we are in the jungle, we have a deck of uh, cards that contain some treacheries, also contain some connecting locations. And when we explore, uh, we have to find a location that connects to the place we are currently at. If we don't, we draw another card. If we don't, we draw another card until we find that card. Now, there's a good chance because it seems like there's about a 50-50 mix of treachery and uh, map cards in here. Hmm. There's a good chance we're going to hit some bad stuff at some point. So we have to be really, really careful. There may be some ways around that. This game also introduces the idea of vengeance cards. Now, in previous games, we've had victory cards, which help the explorers later in the game. Uh, this time, vengeance cards hinder us or hurt us in the game. Uh, they could be things like, um, uh, you know, we may hit a villain or a, or a bad person, and it will say something like, if you have X number of vengeance points, and oh, well, in fact, here's one right here on the uh, easy card. Um, where if we draw the skull, it's minus X, where X is the number of vengeance points in the victory display. So that's one way that the game could hurt us, especially when we are playing on easy mode. Thank you again, everyone who says that we're so dumb. We need to play on the easy <laughs> mode. Uh, so ideally, we need to keep the number of vengeance points to a minimum. Right. The third thing that is introduced into this is this idea of supplies. I don't know how supplies are going to help us until we get into this game. Uh, I don't know if they're necessary. I don't know what supplies we need to bring. But in a two-investigator game, we each get seven supply points each. And we ran down the list of available supplies, provisions, medicine, rope, blanket, canteen, torches, compass, map, binoculars, chalk, and pendant. Each of them has a point value associated them. For example, provisions is one supply point. A map is three supply points. And so you and I had seven points each that we could figure out what supplies we wanted. So what supplies did we end up with, Brad? Well, I'm taking provisions. Okay. Because you always need provisions. Provisions, food and water for one person, a must-have for any journey. There you go. I also took a uh, rope. Uh, that's a three supply point. Several long coils of strong rope, vital for climbing and spelunking. I've played enough Dungeons and Dragons to know. <laughs> There was no 10-foot pole no, to take, but no. I did take instead the map. Also three supply points. Unmarked for now, but with time, you may be able to map out your surroundings, which oh, I think may help us out here. So it's basically a blank piece of paper. Right. As we draw a, things a, off. And a pen. Yes. Wow. Yes. That cost me three supply points. Better a, come in handy. A blank piece of paper, maybe even just a scrap of pencil. Yes. Three supply points. So I went with provisions. Already. I also went with medicine, which I was reading online and people were like, yeah, you really need medicine. And they recommended this is a two supply points to stave off disease, infection or venom. They recommended that you have one medicine per two investigators, which I don't know. I've looked at some of the cards that are in this in this deck, like mm -hmm. snakes that are going to bite the crap out of us and poison us. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping we didn't skimp on the medicine. Yeah, because that implies that the medicine is consumable. I mean, that is... Right, that it's consumable. Again, yeah. I don't know how this works. Uh, also, I got a blanket, uh, two supply points for warmth at night. I like to stay warm at night, but we're in the jungle, so I don't know if that's going to be useful. And then I also got binoculars, two points, to help you see faraway places. I wonder if we're going to have to rebuy our stuff every... I don't know. Every adventure. I don't know. I'm, I'm interested in that. Yeah. But maybe... Maybe the adventure will tell us, Brad. Scenario 1, The Untamed Wilds. Sunday, June 28th, 1925. It didn't take us a full month. It only took us 26 days to get down to, from from Maine to southern Mexico. It's all, it's all downhill. Yeah. It's been a heck of a day. It says something else, but I'm using heck. Family show and YouTube uh, algorithms will ban us if I say the other word. It's been a heck of a day. We just set up camp along the northern border of the rainforest where Alejandro believes the Etsli once dwelled. The jungle here is dense and untamed. The sky hides above the tree cover, 
but I can tell from this crisp breeze that storm clouds are brewing overhead. The dangers... See, I'm going to need that blanket to stay warm. Right. The dangers of our expedition have been explained to us many times. Might help if I actually press the record button. The dangers of our expedition have been explained to us many times. We are hundreds of miles away from any sign of civilization. Nobody in modern times has yet to piece the heart of these wilds. Until now, nobody has had a reason to try. After all, it wouldn't make much sense to find Aztec ruins in this region of Mexico, and yet here we are looking for ruins that may not exist in a place where, by all accounts, they should not. Already one of our surveyors has fallen ill and another one has been bitten by a viper. I'm starting to think the rainforest doesn't want us here. If this luck persists... Ours will be the shortest expedition in Miskatonic University's history. Tonight we rest. Tomorrow we venture into uncharted wilds. I'm concerned because you know so far all of our expeditions have been shorter than than they oh, but were only by one by, game. By one game, yeah. So if, if this one might be the shortest one ever, yes, well, it might save us some some agony. At some we're going to start at the expedition camp. Uh, we can resign here as an action. The wilds are too dangerous, or do it. Check your supplies. If you have a map, look at the top three cards of the exploration deck. Place one on the bottom and the other two on top in any order. Now, this could be really good because you have that map. Mm -hmm. You can pick three cards, keep one on top, shuffle the other two to the bottom. Oh, two on top. Uh, yeah. Place one on the bottom and the other two on top. So you could actually shuffle all of the bad cards down to the bottom. Sure. In this In this setup. That's what you choose to believe. I hope so. And this is where we're going to begin. So you got the map. You're the expedition leader. Why don't you read the, uh, what are we, the agenda deck? The agenda deck. Expedition into the wild. Your expedition has ventured far into the rainforests of southern Mexico in search of a forgotten Aztec city state. What will you find when you head deeper into the untamed jungle? Explore. This is the action explorer. Draw the top card of the exploration deck. If it is a connecting location, put it into play and move to it. Now, there's more to it than that, though. There's, if it's not, right, if it's not a connecting location. Yeah, if it's not a connecting location, then I think we just continue to uh, draw cards. Uh, each explorer, let's see. If a location of that type is drawn, it is put into play and you move to that location. Uh, this is considered a ex uh, successful exploration. If any other location is drawn, place it next to the exploration deck and draw the next card from the exploration deck. Repeat this process until a location of the indicated type is drawn or a treachery is drawn. After this action has ended, shuffle each location next to the exploration deck back into the exploration deck. If a treachery card is drawn, it is resolved as normal. If it is discarded, place it in the encounter discard pile as you would normally. There is no discard pile for the exploration deck. This is considered an unsuccessful exploration. So there we go. Okay. That's where we're going to go. And since you are the expedition leader, it's probably a good thing that you have a map because then you can use an action to, um, to, uh, to do this. Uh, the, what's the doom on this? Six? Doom is six. Act 1A, Exploring the Rainforest. Today you depart from your camp in order to find the ruins. Alejandro seeks... Oh, so my eyes are getting so old. Today you depart from the camp in order to find the ruins Alejandro seeks. That is, if they even exist. Our objective, when the round ends, investigators at any non-campsite location may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. So we have to be in a non-campsite location to spin the clues to advance, we need six of them in total. But okay. the map action can only be done from the base camp. Now, I should point out this has uh, two Act 3 cards in it. Okay. So Three cards. Yes. Two Act 3 cards. Two Act 3 cards. Yes. Okay. So I think we are ready to begin uh, with the investigator phase. So, Brad, you get to go first. Well, I need to draw a deck Oh, of we cards. need to. That's right. We need some is it, cards. Is it five? We start with five. Five, yep. Okay. Might help. We've been a while since we played this it's game, right? It's been a little. Okay. I little ended up with a weakness. So, that does not go into play right now. I am going to. Um, I'm going to mulligan two. Cards. We're going to mulligan four cards. Ooh. Arr. 
and err. Okay, well, that was not what I wanted. Did you draw your new cards before mm -hmm. you shuffled? No, I did not. You're supposed to do that before you shuffle. What a doofus. That's okay. If you got those same cards sure again, I'll let you uh I'll let you replace those for I did no not. for no I did not. interesting plays I have. Well, I'll say this. <clears throat> I did not get the cards that I wanted. There were two cards that I was hoping for. Didn't get them. Okay. Um, we're basing both of our decks off something we found online. Yep. So we're hoping that these are good. I think Brad has the... It's, uh, uh, it is the, uh, <laughs> the deck called Leo Duo Finn, and Steven's using Finn Duo Leo. These were, uh, these were on the, uh, the Arkham, Arkham uh, database yeah. uh, deck list, and they're, they are created by someone named Kiliath. So Kiliath... If your decks are great, thank you. If yep. they if suck, they um, suck, then it's all your fault. Yeah, it's probably my fault. Uh, don't forget to take five resources. Ooh, five resources. Good job. All right. And then we can begin. Now, the one bad thing about my character is I don't have a lot of willpower. My willpower is one. Wow. So I know, right? <laughs> And it's a wonder he keeps any product to sell. My intellect is high. My agility is high. My fight is three. Mm -hmm. uh, but that, that willpower is really low. And it's, it's not willpower that we use to investigate, right? No, it's your intellect. It's my intellect. You're, you're so smarts. I'll be okay searching for clues. Good. But my deck is kind of built so that I can even boost my intellect even higher. So... I'm hoping the smartest little bootlegger in all of Southern That's Mexico. what I'm trying to do. That's why I never got caught. Ah. That's why I've always delivered. Um, that's why I'm fast on my feet. There you go. But, uh, man, willpower. Hmm. That's probably how I ended up on this adventure. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> it's not many other ways to explain that, actually. Right. So um, I think, Brad, this is the strategy that I think we might want to approach. Mm -hmm. Since you have the map and you're in the base camp. And what is your strength? Do you have like some combat abilities? I, my strength is four. My willpower is four, as it ought to be. My intellect is three. My big thing is uh, my agility is only one. I am, mm. I am as in real life, not feet of foot. So, uh, <laughs> well, I think what would be a good idea is for you to use the map to explore and to use that map action to shuffle the bad cards down at the bottom. Okay. And then... Because we can't really talk about the cards, you could tell me, oh, you know, I think there may be something you might look at coming up or however yeah, we want to yeah. do this. And then I go down and because my uh, intellect is so high, yes, my intellect is so high, then I can do the clue grabbing this time. Last couple of games, you've been the clue grabber. Yes. So this is going to be a little bit different where you're going to be kind of the powerhouse to come help me if we run into trouble. And I will be the... I will be the clue yes. giver, the clue grabber. Okay. Sounds good. Does that sound good? And yes. since you are the lead investigator in this campaign, you get to start off. And I wonder what you're going to do first, Brad. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is use my uh, my my uh, triggered little, whatever it is, triggered ability here. It's not an action. Um, after my turn begins, I can play an ally asset. Reducing its cost by one. Really? Yes. So, nice. So for for six, but reduced one. So all five of my resources. Okay. I'm going to play every every explorer of Mexico needs boots. So I'll be playing boots. Okay. As my ally. All right. Sounds good. I'm not. Actually, That's not your actually, first action. Not actually boots. Just joking. Okay. It's Leo De Luca. Oh, Leo De Luca. Leo De Luca, my other criminal friend, um, the Louisiana Lion. Uh, he allows me to take an additional action during my turn. Sweet. So I can take uh, four, four actions. actions instead of the usual three. Nice. So the next thing I'm going to do. So for your, kind my of first action, your first action. My first yeah. action. Yeah, so you uh, got four actions I'm, I'm going to take a page from my from my Mexican exploring friend, and I'm going to consult the map. Okay. So you get to draw three cards. No. Do I? Oh, yeah. Three, three cards. cards. Three cards. <gasps> and you get to put two on top. And one at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Um, now here's the question. If 
we explore successfully, do we then reshuffle the deck? Uh, this is the sign for reshuffle. No. I mean, no. We only reshuffle if there's cards in the discard. So I would look for those connections first. We're looking for a a square, a diamond, or a moon. Okay. Um, and after you explore, you get sucked down there. Yep, to you the get place. moved down there. Yes. Okay, this is not good. All right. Okay. All right. I mean, it's not bad. Two on top, one on bottom. All right, um, so I still have three actions left. Yes, correct. If I explore, mm -hmm. you'll have trouble. So... I mean, you can explore multiple times. No, because I'll get sucked down there and then I have to come back. Oh, right, to do right. the... So what I'm going to do instead... So I'm going to play for my second action. I'm going to play emergency cash and gain three resources. Okay. Wow. You got a good hand. I did. It was a good, it was a good mulligan, a wise mulligan. And I am going to, for my third action, I'm going to play emergency cash and gain three resources. Nice. And for my fourth Leo DeLuca action, I'm going to draw a card. Okay. <laughs> Less excited about that. But yeah, no. Okay. All right. So my turn then. So my first action, I'm going to... Ice Maker. Oh, Ice Maker. Yeah, I probably should turn that off. Sounds um, like a Dalek. Yeah, no. Exterminate. Okay, so for my first action, I'm going to spend four resources, and I'm going to pull out my other traveling companion for this adventure, Dr. Milan Christopher. Oh, This expedition went from two people to four people really quick. It did. Uh, he increases my book learning, and after I successfully investigate, I gain a resource, which is kind of what I'm going to need because... Um, yeah. Because I'm going to need those here pretty quick, I think. Now, now if I wasn't clear before, um, you know, you might want to go yes. explore. Yes, that's what I'm going to do next. Once. Yes, that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to explore. So I turn this over and I get Path of Thorns. It is a square. Forced. After you fail a skill test while investigating Path of Thorns, take one damage. Ouch. Forced, after you explore while at Path of Thorns, if the exploration was not successful, take one damage. So if I fail a skills chest test, and after I explore, and I fail at both, oh, take one damage. Oh, so yes, the next explore action. If you explore from there. Yeah, if, if it's not successful, I would take a damage. Right. Yeah, okay. Path so, of Thorns is pretty rough. Uh, so let's put this here, since we don't know where anything is at. And I'll just put this here, and then I will get sucked down in there. So that was my second action. For my third action, I think... I think I'm going to take a card. And then I'm just going to end my turn. All right. Oh, dude. All right, well. Okay, so that is the investigator phase. Let us move on to the enemy phase. There are no enemies yet. So then we can move on to the upkeep phase where we will reactivate everybody and reset any cards that have been turned sideways. Okay. We will also get a one card. It's... Um... You and a one resource in the, in the right way because it might matter to you. It is uh, one draw, card and one resource. Draw one card and then get okay. It's card first then resource. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Card first. Resource. Make sure you don't have eight cards. I do not. And then we move on to the mythos phase. So we're going to place a doom on the agenda. Oh, actually, we forgot to put uh, two clues down here. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. And now we can go on to drawing from the from the encounter deck. So, Brad, as the lead investigator, you get to go first. Right, I'm going to uh, use the map. No, you're going to go oh, draw right. from the encounter deck. Sorry. Tried. I know. It's a pit viper creature. Oh, no. Serpent forced after pit viper deals you damage from its attack. If you are not poisoned, put a set aside poison weakness into play in your threat area. Now, the poison cards I don't like because these say limit one per investigator, hmm. limit one per deck. It also says permanent. You are poisoned. Uh, this is a no game effect on its own. Other cards may change or become stronger while you are poisoned. So okay. uh, this is also a vengeance card, right? Uh, this is a vengeance one. Yes, it is deadlier than it seems, it says. So right. it only has one health point. It has a fight of three and and its agility is three. All right, I will draw a card and I get also a pit viper. All right, well, investigator turn. So I, I mean, the obvious thing to do here would be to evade this thing, so as to yeah, but it, you're in the camp. Vengeance, yeah. You're gonna just Plus, use waste one of your turns just in evading this thing, right? So I'm. <sighs> this is a bad place for one of these to pop up, to be honest. Because if it was, you know, here, I mean, I could evade it and then maybe explore or something, and then not have to worry, you know, come right. back into this yeah, area yeah, again. Just, we just leave it alone. Well, I've, I've got to, I've got to kill this. Yeah. Um, so its fight is three. My fight is four. I am going to hold on to that. Hold on to. Th I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna throw any cards in this. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to make my attack. Okay. I always feel like it looks like I'm cheating. Nah, we know you. We know you would never cheat, Brad. Right, as you can tell by the quality of, of tokens I draw that I'm not a skull. What does a skull do? Oh, skull me? is uh, X is the number of vengeance points in the victory display, and we don't have any vengeance points in the victory so display, so it is zero. All right, awesome. Well, we do now. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside. Put it. In, we'll put a victory pile and a vengeance pile. So that was one of my four actions. For my second of my four actions, I'm going to. Exp I'm going to use the map. Yep, that would be the way to do it. Which can only be done here at the exploration. Yeah, that's the only thing that's a little weird, right? Yeah. So yeah, we'll see what All happens. Right. So that. So we could do a interesting diamond, a moon, a circle. A triangle or some kind of an S squiggly thing. All right. So we have some choices. Whichever one gets us to the supposed lost city of gold. I feel a little bit like, uh, what's his name? Alan Quartermain. You thought I was going to say Indiana Jones. Uh -huh. I'm talking about Alan Quartermain. I kind of want to, I think we should both do some exploration. Okay, that's fine. I think we need to I think we need to branch out and uncover some more some more spots. Okay. That sounds um, good. Yeah, of course my turns are going to be eaten up with pit vipers and clues. Right. Let me um, let me take a look at something here. Okay, that's fine. All right. All right. All right. So now for your Third action. For my third action. For my third action, I am going to explore. I think we got this down, Brad. I think so. I think we understand how to play this game. <laughs> That'll last for another Ooh, 30 seconds. River Canyon. Heal okay. one damage. This is a jungle. It has a, 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 a shroud of four and one clue per investigator. Okay. Uh, heal one action as an action. Heal one damage from an investigator at River Canyon. Check your supplies if you have a canteen. Heal two additional ah. limit once per game. The river is deeper than it appears. Ripples along its surface obscure the creatures that lie within. Water cascades into the river from above, causing a strong, steady current. All right, so this is a green diamond location. So it connects to both of these locations that are in play right now. 
and yeah, and they both connect to it. Right. Oh, okay. So two clues, the River Canyon. All right. And I get drawn down there, but I think... You're going to explore that's my, again? Is that my second action? That's your third action. That's my third action. First was to fight the Viper. Second was the map. Third to explore. Okay. Then, yeah, I'm going to explore again. And then I don't know. Okay. I'm going to be, you know, far off my map. I mean, you could always move back. <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm going to... Oh, explore. but you have to explore from, you know, you can't move, you can't be here and say, oh, well, I explore. And then if it's one of these symbols, right. drop it there. I mean, you have to... Right. It has, it has to, to be connecting to the location that you're at. Exactly. But I mean, you can still move back here, stack the deck. I could. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and explore again. Okay. Um, just because I know this is getting me far. Well, maybe maybe farther from maybe not further from the uh, Serpent's Haven. This is a location in the jungle. It has a shroud of two, and there are four clues here: two per investigator. Each serpent enemy at Serpent's Haven gets plus one fight. Forced after you ex- investigate or explore while at Serpent's Haven, if you are poisoned take one damage so neither of us is poison this is a this shroud is only two the serpents are pretty vicious here okay all right this where are we connecting this does not connect with the camp but it does connect with these other two locations okay so go figure maybe we give us some room yeah and you get sucked down there sucked down there now that was so i i i fought the serpent Mm -hmm. I used Check the map, map, I explored, and I explored. And then how many clues per investigator? Oh, there are four there, two per okay. investigator. So I might be able to, or but I don't know what your intellect is. Um, my intellect is three. My intellect is not bad. So I, I actually beat this shroud also. So I might okay. do a little clue hunting okay. down here. Because all we need is six, and we can't be in the campsite, and we can advance. So we've got... We've got enough on the board. Enough clues on the board. Yeah, so... I think instead of evading this guy, because this one has a lot of connecting, and this one has a lot of connecting. Well, but we, you know, we can get away from it. I mean, we don't. If if you leave him there, if you evade him and leave him there, we don't have to go through there. Yeah, but the problem him. is, well, in fact, the, it's the path of thorns. I don't. Well, I mean, it's got a shroud of three, which I guess is better than the shroud of four in the river canyon. But the river canyon. Is a healing place. The path of thorns is yeah. a hurting you place. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to try to evade this thing, and then just get out of there. I, I don't think I'm. I mean, my intellect is five to its three, so I have a pretty good chance of hitting that and at least grabbing one clue before I leave. So okay. I can evade, search, and run. But if you fail, you take a damage. Yeah. Okay. Well, but we do have here. All right. Well, first of all, I need to evade. So what I'm going to do is my evade is four. It's at three. I'm a little nervous about that. Um, And I should have played this fast when when the enemy spawned at my location, right? It says play when an enemy would spawn at your location. Yeah. So I should have played that already. Probably. All right. Then I'm just going to play it for its uh, agility point. So I can boost my agility to five. So I'm up two above the uh, above the snake, and I get a plus one. So it is evaded at this location. All right. Then I'm going to move. Jeez. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to investigate. Sounds good to me. I got a zero, so I get one clue. Okay. And then I will move over here. Let's see. If I fail, he'll respawn. I could maybe evade again. But look, if you go over here. Yeah. The shroud is higher, but you're super smart. Yeah. All right. Those did were my. Your, uh, did you get your. Uh, I did get a clue. No. Did you get your. Um, don't you get a resource or something when you successfully Oh, yeah. After you successfully investigate, gain one resource. Thank you, Dr. Milan, Christopher. And I'm done. All right. And you're done. Oh, I'm done also. Yeah. 
All right, and now it is the enemy phase. This guy is just sitting here mad, hissing at the uh, entire time uh, because he didn't get to do anything. Uh, so then we go into the upkeep phase, so we get to reset everybody and everything. We then get to move on to the um, upkeep phase. Uh, let's see. Ex ready all exhausted cards, then draw one card and gain one resource, Brad. Oh, right. I did get something that I wanted. Glad this came out now. Now hopefully I will actually get it. Uh, now we get to go on to the Mythos phase. We get to add one here, and then Lead Investigator, please take from the Encounter deck. Oh no, a uh, blunder. Oh no. I'm low on supplies. This is a Peril card, which I mean, I think means you can't do anything. Right. Revelation, you must choose. You must decide. Choose one. Each investigator loses two resources. Oh, man. Each investigator takes one damage. Or each investigator chooses and discards an asset he or she controls. Uh, I would rather lose the two resources myself. Yeah, the re I'm, I'm resource rich. So I mean, I, I'm not, but that's care. okay. I can get them back fairly easily with successful investigations but i'm not taking damage not in the jungle no. and i am not losing anything that i control all right all right and i get overgrowth revelation attached to your location limit one per location you cannot explore at attached location oh. as an action i can test my fight of four to hack through the brush or my intellect at four to find another route if you succeed discard overgrowth so i'm just going to leave this here in front of me for a moment but i'll remember that it's there okay and then on my turn, I will use my um, my intellect to get rid of this. I guarantee I'm not going to remember that's there, so I'm going to put a bottle okay. cap. All right. Uh, incongruously. Yes, yeah, just so I can read the sure. the card. That's yeah. the only reason why. So. There's a day when I could read cards across the table. I know, right? Days, days long, long past. Yep. All right. Uh, is that it? Time for uh, us to take our yeah, turns? Yeah, it's time for us to take our turns. Would you like me to go first? Um, if you want to go first, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna right. totally blow this overgrowth aside by playing Perception, which has two of the book, book learnings. Um, if this test is successful, I get to draw one card. So I am at four on my base, one with Doctor uh, Christopher, and then two more with Perception. So I am at seven, or yeah, seven against its four. So I'm up nice. by three. Yeah, right. So. You got it. I hope so. You say that, Brad. And now I get a death so, head. Minus one. Minus one. So I still succeed. So this now is discarded. And I I'll get to my draw one card. Bottle cap. I get to draw one card. And now I'm going to, um, let's see. Uh, there's two things I would like to do. Let's see. After you successfully investigate. I'm going to spend two, my last two resources, and I'm going to pull out my lucky cigarette case. After you succeed a skill test by two or more exhaust lucky cigarette case and draw one card. That is a immediate action or a fast action. So mm. one, the overgrowth, two, the lucky cigarette case. Now to investigate at uh, five against its four. Uh, squid heads. Minus two. If uh, if you were poisoned, this test automatically fails instead. So minus two. So I lost by one. Do, 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 do. I can't do anything else. Oh, hmm, I'm going to have to really read my cards. You may take an additional action during your turn, which can only be used to evade. Oh. So I could have well, evaded so this. The, so that was your, that was an additional action you took. Yeah, that was the last turn. That was last round. Oh, was last so round. I can't use it this turn. So I'm just going to have to remember to read my cards. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's Brains, man. This game. All right. Uh, so that is my turn. Nothing there yet. I could have. I probably should have used this card, but oh well. Oh man. 
and he really needed to succeed on that. Mm. All right. Well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to investigate. I'm going to investigate. I mean, I could, I'm, I'm released. I mean, the shroud is only two. I guess this guy resets, right? Uh, he did reset. Okay. okay. All right. So the shroud is only two. My, uh, my intellect is three. I'm hit by one. What, what could go wrong? Yeah. Look in the bag. Pick out a good one, Brad. <laughs> Zero. Zero. You got I've one. Got a clue. So we have two clues now. That was my first of four actions. All right. Throw that lucky zero back in there. Here we go. Minus one. Still succeeds. Five. Got it. Man, you're doing better than I am. Now I could get out of here. Yeah, I, you, I, I, you could. I mean, you really probably should, right? I don't know. Or should I? Just I, keep I think doing you this? should. No, I think you should. I think you should go back to camp, set up the deck so that we but can explore. We're done. Oh, exploring. that's right. We are done exploring at this point. Yeah. So go ahead and get the clues. Because all we need to do is reset the thing before this trips, right? Right. 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 And you can't you can't spend your clues at camp. No, you can't. Um, investigators at any non-camp site location may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. Minus one. Still succeeds. Good job, Brad. Wow, you uh, cleaned up. Thank one you. more. One more action. And then, of course, we have to go another round. I'll get those clues, too. They make me feel bad. Skull, minus one. Minus one. So, still got it. Got wow, the you, you swept the you swept the uh, campsite. Anything and that happens? Victory point. Oh, okay. We'll have to remember that. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, that's your turn. Yay, me. Right. Yes, yay, you. All right, so enemy phase. This guy is just hanging out in the trees, hissing around. Nothing else happens. So now we moved into the upkeep phase. We reset our cards. We um, unexhaust everything. Each investigator draws one card and gets one resource. Awesome. All right. And then we add a doom to the doom marker as we hit the mythos phase. And Brad, you may take a encounter card. Oh, no. Treachery. Uh-oh. Snakebite. Oh, no. Revelation. Test your agility. Oh. And your agility is low, right? Keep walking on these snakes. Yeah, this is a coral snake. I mean, we're too. in the jungle. Yeah, you know. Test, uh, test your agility at three. If you fail, you must either choose one. Deal five damage to an ally asset you control, or one, take one direct damage. If you are not poisoned, put a set-aside poison weakness into play in your threat area. We're not at the same location. Is there anything that you can throw in to commit to boost you up? I can. I don't think I want to. Okay. Um, so you're just going to take a poison? No. Okay. I am not. Okay. I'm going to test. Maybe, maybe I'll, maybe you'll, maybe you won't, maybe you'll succeed. Yeah. Uh. Skull minus, minus one. one. So my agility is zero. To, it's three. How, how so, did you think you were going to win that? I didn't. Um, so I'm going to deal five damage to an ally asset. I control. Oh no. Leo DeLuca. Leo DeLuca is going to take one to the leg. Oh, Leo. No, 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 no. Don't throw those. Oh. Those are the uh, four four clues that we need. I put the clues on Leo for some reason. <laughs> wow. wow. All right. So he All goes right, in so your Leo discard. He goes in my discard. Snakebite goes in that discard. And you don't take a poison card. I do not take a poison card. Okay. All right. Uh, I draw a... It's another one of those dead people. Boa Constrictor, a hunter. After Boa Constrictor attacks you during the next upkeep phase, your exhausted cards cannot ready. Ouch. This one has a fight of four. It has a agility of two, and it has hit points of four. So this is a bad location for the Boa Constrictor. My fight is not there. I could evade this very easily. Ah, oh, man. And it's a hunter. The hunter keyword means it Tracks oh, us. Track us. Is it a vengeance one too? No, it's not. That is a vengeance one. All the snakes are vengeance. Yeah. Uh, okay. So who would like to go first? So I could. Do you go have a good fight first? I've got a good fight, and it's about to get better. Okay. Well, um, then maybe you can take come up here and take care of this boa constrictor. 
Um, it's got a hit points of four. Okay. Four hit it's got points. A, it's got a fight of four. What's, how many hit points does that? Four. Four and, and a fight of four. Yeah. This is a big boy. And it also has a vengeance. We're supposed to evade it, but it's... it's uh, yeah, no, but it's got the hunter, and I don't want it tracking me around the entire time. All right. Uh, so we're just kind of ignoring the thing that says, hey, maybe you don't want so many vengeance points. All right. At the beginning of my turn is my reaction to the yes. beginning of my turn. After my turn begins, I will play an ally asset, uh, reducing its cost by one. So I'll play a beat cop hey. for three. Nice. Yeah, I found... Uh, <laughs> I'm Andy Griffin down here. <laughs> Joe, Joe Friday here. Sheriff Andy is is uh, is here in Mexico. Well, you needed we needed security. That's right That's for right. this for this uh, thing. Yep. And um, so that's your first action. You only get three actions now because you don't have a Leo DeLuca. That was not my first action. Uh, that was your free action. But I'm just saying you've only got three. Just re- reacting to something else. Yeah, to the beginning of my turn. Yeah, so I've got three actions now. Um, so for my. For my next trick, I will move mm-hmm. to the River Canyon, and I will... Now, if I attack this guy and miss... Then I take the damage. Then you take the damage. Right. Um, but... For this, so the B cup gives me plus one, so I'll be at five. I'm going to throw in a card, even, to put me at six. Okay. And how much damage will you do? I will do, because of the card, I will do a little extra damage. Okay. So, uh, I can't kill this guy. That's okay. I, I probably might be able to. Let's see. If I spend an action engaging oh, him, then then I'm not going to be able to attack him. So, I'm going to I'm gonna attack him off while he's engaged with you. Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to play Vicious Blow for the extra fight okay. icon. So, that puts me at six. To its four. To its four. Elder Thing. Elder Thing says, minus two. If you are poisoned, this test automatically fails. Tied, and I am not poisoned. So how much damage does it take? It's going to take two points of damage. Two points of damage. One for the fight, and one for the vicious blow that I dealt it. Okay. And... I'll only be able to hit it for one point. That is my third, but you can hit it for one point twice. Uh, no, I'll only be able to hit it for one point because the next time I'll miss. <laughs> well, that's that's the power of positive thinking. I softened him up for you. And because my literally my hit is my punch, my fight ability is three against its four. But I'm going to throw in unexpected courage and use the two wild card symbols for fighting abilities. So that moves me up by one. What does it move you up by one? You mean it moves you? It moves me to five against its four. Oh, you're, so oh, I've got a plus oh, one. I've got, got a plus one. Got and you probably don't have anything you can throw in. I could, but I don't want to. Okay. You're up by one, right? Yeah. I really don't want to look at this. Oh, zero. All right. There so there's one. Okay, but now the unexpected courage goes away. So now I'm down one. So now do you have anything that you could throw in? Oh, to... I will. God, I hate to use this card. I mean, if you this. don't, I mean, if it's a really good card, don't. It's a really good card. And maybe we just evade it. And because it'll still keep those. Well, if you can evade it, if you can evade it, then I can hit it next turn. Yeah. I mean, it'll reset well, and we'll... it will attack one of us. No. If you evade it. If you evade it, it'll be here, but it will be exhausted. Until and then the upkeep phase, and then right. it'll reset, and then it will engage with one of us. Oh, it will, yeah, so it'll engage with me. And guess, then, it, and the, then, um, then we also have got the negative cards coming up, too. That's all right. All right, well, then I will evade it uh, with my... I'm going to throw in, let's see, what is it? Oh, I've got this by two. So I will... Minus one, it is evaded at our location okay. with three damage on it. Probably should Oops. have had you do that first and then... Uh, yeah, that's all right. And then s- s- get it Okay, so that was my second action. <clears throat> oh, man, well, we only need... Second action? Then get this clue, man. Yeah, I'm going to try. Um, let's see if there's anything I can... 
I'm going to, eh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to use that card. That's too good of a card. All right, I will throw in Elusive to bump me up to six against the four. Okay. Plus one. So I got the clue. We now have six clues. All right, so what is the rule for turning in the clues? So at the end of the round, so we're not done yet, we have to do the upkeep phase. All right. Um, investigators at any non-campsite location may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. All right. All right. So we just got to get through. So that was my third action. Okay. Now it is the enemy phase. This guy doesn't do anything. This guy is uh, evaded. He is exhausted. So now we can move into the upkeep phase where we reset our cards. We uh, uh, unexhaust any exhausted cards. Including this guy. I'll have him engage me. Okay. Fine with me. Then we each draw a card and we get one resource. Uh oh. I have a Which treachery card. Oh man. Bought in blood. Got a basic weakness. Weakness. Um you know, I think this is my I think this is my person. I mean it is maybe this is just a basic one. Uh, Rev this must be mine. This must be my personal one. Revelation, you must either discard an ally asset you control oh, from no. play or discard each ally asset from your hand. If no assets are discarded by this effect, shuffle bought in blood back into your deck. So I'm going to... It's weird. I don't think these get discarded as such, do they? They go no, I mean, play or something? Uh, I forget what the rule was on this. Maybe somebody can, can point it out to us. Um, it... Eh, it doesn't stay in your thing, but at the same time, I don't think it goes into your discard pile. Right. So I'm going to discard Mitch Brown. Okay. Who is an ally from my hand. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna. And that's the guy that lets you have two allies, right? Right. Yeah. Mm. So he could have okay. let me have my extra beat cop, but I'm not going to have that. But that's okay because I'd rather have. I mean. Yeah, yeah. Because if I lose the beat cop, I'm still not going to get an extra beat yeah. cop. So. Okay. All right. So Mitch is out of there. All right. Sorry, Mitch. So um, you drew a card, gained a resource. And resource. Now it is the top of the round. All right. Or the round has ended. So now yes. we can spend our clues. All right. Four clues spent. All right. Here we go. The natives. As you explore the dense jungle, you are suddenly confronted by several natives. At first glance, they appear to be warriors of an Aztec city-state, perhaps even the one you seek. But how could they have survived undiscovered for this long? Even the even with Alejandro's notes, you are barely able to translate what the warriors say, only that they call you intruder and implore you to leave the jungle at once. You try to explain that you are searching for Etsley, which causes them to murmur and debate among themselves. Finally, one of them speaks to you in rudimentary Spanish. Uh, Iktaka will know what to do with you, intruder. He blows on a decorated clay uh, ocarina, producing a shrill note that echoes through the jungle. The warriors depart as suddenly as they arrived. Put the set aside. Talk the enemy into play. Where did I put her? Is this her? Yes, this is her. She is the keeper of the Etsley. She has a fight of five, which is really high. She has an evade of four, which is really high. Uh, she has a um, uh, hit points of four. She has alert. And retaliate, which means if you attack her, she's going to balk you for two, two damage. Okay. We also can parlay as an action. Test your intellect, or I'm sorry, yeah, your intellect at four to convince Iktaktha that you are not her enemy. If you succeed, place one clue from the token bank on her. If you fail and Iktaktha is ready, she attacks you. So she's at our location. Okay, so so parlay. Test your And remember, at four. I, oh, wait, I have something that's going to help us out here, Brad. Do you? you I have, do. You have a good card for this? I do have a good card for this. But first, oh, we need to read Act 2. Huntress of the Etsley. I don't trust them, Alejandro says, as soon as the natives are out of earshot. They mean to kill us, not aid us. If you think the Ikta is going... Uh, how do you say that? Iktaka. Iktaka is going to help us find the ruins. Be my guest. 
but I refuse to follow where she leads. You can feel the discomfort and confusion in Alejandro's voice. You can attempt to speak with Iktakta, or you can take Alejandro's advice and fight your way to the ruins you seek. I think if there are one clues per invest uh if there are one clues per investigator on Iktakta, place her in the victory display and advance. So in order to get two clues to advance. I have to parlay with her twice. I can I can do this. And if and if you fail, she will attack you. Um if you fail, she will attack me. That is correct. All right. Actually, she'll attack uh, Dr. Milan Christopher. He's a little bit heavier than I am, <laughs> and he will get the dart to the head. But first, we have to place do on the mythos and take a negative card. Okay. So you get to go first, Brad. Blah. I know, right? Oh, it's an Etzli Garden. Oh. Guard, garden. Etzli Guardian. Okay. Sorry. One of the warriors. I was trying so hard to pronounce that uh, that other name right. Yes. Spawn any empty location. Ancient, if, a- if able. Uh, he's both alert and aloof. Forced when enemies attack during the enemy phase. If Etzli Garden is ready and unengaged, it attacks each investigator in each connecting location. Oh, no. So even if you put him here... He's going to attack us on the enemy phase. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll put, put him, him there. there. That was pretty easy. I guess. I get creeping poison surge. Each investigator who is poisoned takes one damage. Okay. Oh, I also get an Etsley Guardian. Uh, let's see. Is it say? Oh, empty location. So now he has to go to our camp. Yeah. Yuck. Okay. Um, would you like me to go first? I really would like you to go first. All right, first. I'm going to spend one resource. I'm going to bring in, I'm going to put on some fine clothes. Oh. I'm going to go parlay with this lady. That's why you're not dressed for Re- an expedition. Yes, reduce the difficulty of skill tests you perform during parlay actions by two. Wow. And her parlay is four. I'm already at five. Five to her uh, two. Five to her two. Right, and, and that and that's that's just an ongoing thing, right? Yep, it is an asset. All right. Yep, and again, she has an intellect of four, which has been reduced because of my fine clothing by two. I'm at five, five to her two. So for my first parlay action, please, please gloat. I know, right? Oh. For my first parlay action, I get a minus one, so I succeed. All right. Hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. After you su- oh, that's investigate. Oh, I didn't get a resource that time. After you succeed a skilled test by two or more, exhaust lucky cigarette case and draw a card. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, nice! <laughs> now, this is the card I've been waiting the entire game to get out. Excellent. So I will parlay once more. Okay. Uh, so again, it is my five to her two. Zero again. We get both of those. All right. And we get to advance. We spin the clues on her. Uh, yes, it says if there are two clues on Iktakta, place her in the victory display. Oh, place her in the victory display. So she is in the victory display. Right. And we get to advance. Sweet. Um, okay. Interesting. You're not simply here to shed blood, Iktakta says, with a spark of wonder in her voice, and you are stunned to hear her speaking in perfect English. Hmm. Remember that Ikta is leading the way. Add one uh, shrouded bad guy token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. Oh, there he is. Bloop, bloop. Oh, there's some so of those that fail to and they give an extra fail to. Yeah, because remember I got two of the base okay. two of the base sets. That's why also some of was, them are not in the uh Yeah. I was concerned that it was That's what I was concerned with, with uh, at yeah. first, but then I was like, nope. And then uh if anybody would like uh proof that it is in here. There it is right there. Ta-da. I'm going to shove it back down in the corner. <laughs> what is that one? This is one that um when we 
uh, played the last game, this is one that is not part of the setup for this game. Oh, okay. So, right. uh, so that is the first thing that we have to do. Shuffle the three set-aside ruin locations into the exploration deck and advance to 3A, the search for the ruins. So you shuffle these in. Okay. I think I, those are the ruins. Can double I check. Look at these? Yeah, double check them. These are the ruins, yes. Okay. All right. And I shuffle them into the expedition. Into the exploration deck and advance to Act 3A, right. search for the ruins. Search for the ruins. So we probably don't need this one. I'm just going to set it aside for here. If I cannot dissuade you, so be it. Follow me and I will lead you to the place you seek. But heed my warnings, disturb the ruins at your own risk. They have remained hidden for a reason. Alejandro warily keeps a safe distance from Ikta as she shows you the way. Each Etsli, war each Etsli guardian enemy cannot attack or be attacked. Okay. Ignore the effects of each arrows from the trees. Oh, sweet. So these guys mm -hmm. cannot attack or be attacked. They are our friends now. Oh, cool. Second thing is ignore the effects of each arrows from the trees treachery. Uh, so there is a treachery in here that says arrows from the trees. That's just like attacks us for damage. Okay. Um, objective. Only investigators at the ruins of Etsley may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. We need six clues, three clues per investigator. Okay. And um, six clues, six clues total. Well, so, so we, we have, have to do some exploring. We've got to do more exploring. And we need to um, gather some clues. Okay. So, uh, so let's see. Oh, so my first action was to put on some fine clothes. Right. My second action was to... Parlay, um, parlay twice. Parlayed again. Parlay was an action. It's on her card. Yep. I was just making sure we were advancing at the right time. Oh, okay. And so now my turn is done. Um, <laughs> you can put damage onto your fine clothes. I can. That's one and neat. one. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And it's a good thing because I brought a spare pair of fine clothes with me on this investigation. Now, Brad. I'm a little concerned because <laughs> because we've got this burst of confidence. We have not it's even ad, we like have this. not even advanced the first agenda, right? And we are already at Act Three. The only damage we have suffered is I just Leo, to, uh, Leo, and Mitch. But see, uh, this the thing about my character is. Is you know the list of dead people? <laughs> it just keeps climbing. It just keeps growing. Yeah. All right. Well, your turn, Brad. Would yeah. you like to go and uh, check the map room? Uh, no, I need to attack this boat. Oh, that's here. right. That's right. I need to kill this dude. All right. We'll kill it. I am going to. Um, let's see how. All right. So my my fight is at five. Is is at four four. Does not have retaliate, so basically, if I lose, I'm just wasting an action. Yes, but at the same time, you want to win. Of course, I want to win. Uh, well, I hope I'm, so. I'm me. Well, we did throw in the uh, cult member. Yeah. Minus one. All right. Tied. Tied. Hit him. He's dead. He's dead. Vengeance points. Two please. vengeance points. Oh no! To two. That's this one is worth two. Two. Oh no! That's horrible. That is horrible. Oh, because now, Elder Thing, oh no, I'm sorry, uh, Skulls is the number of vengeance points in the victory display. So that's now f minus three. The cult member, the number of locations in play, max is five. So we've already got four out. Hmm. Okay, so that was your first action. All right, so my second action, I'm going to move. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a resource I'd like to play. No, you know what I'm not going to do. It. I'm going to go ahead and consult the map. Okay. Now. All right. Because if I don't like it, yes, I can consult the map later. Yes. So this is my last action for this turn. All right. Uh, to the person who built this deck, thank you. It has been, it's played out so far perfectly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
All right, so here's the news. Um, do not. Do not do any exploring? Do any exploring. Okay. Two on top, one on the bottom. Oh, but see, but I'm just going to draw these same two on the top. Huh? You're going to draw three. Right. So I'll draw these same two on the top and just one more. Yeah. But don't go exploring. I'm not going to go I'll exploring. I'll just keep wasting my All right. So your turn is done. Energy that way. Okay. Enemy phase. Snake in the tree does nothing. These guys uh, don't attack or can be attacked. So the enemy phase is over, which means we are now up onto the upkeep phase. So we get a reset. We get to unexhaust all exhausted cards. So I get my lucky cigarette case back. And each investigator draws one card and gains one resource. Sweet. Check your hand size. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four for me. All right. And then we move on to the mythos phase, top of the round. So this one now has five, and we each take a uh, treachery card. Arrows from the trees. So we can ignore it. No, it doesn't have surge or anything. Nope. Just fine. No arrows from the trees. I also get creeping poison, surge. Each investigator who's poisoned takes one damage. All right. And then it's got surge, so... Oh, Ancient Evils, Revelation, place one doom on the current agenda. This effect can cause the current agenda to advance. Ancient well, Evils. So that will advance now, bit. right? It does. So this will advance. Uh, after hours of exploration... Here, you read this. You All haven't right. read for a while. That's a long one. <clears throat> Thanks. <laughs> After hours of exploration and futile attempts to map out the wilds, you're convinced something is watching your progress, stalking your every move. The shapes of large serpentine creatures slither in the brush all around you. You try to back away, but the creatures have you completely surrounded, hissing at you from all sides. Suddenly, several shapes emerge from the brush. Human-sized creatures with the bodies of serpents and arms wielding spears and jagged knives. The creatures are savage, attacking you fiercely. Somehow, you manage to flee to safety, though the sensation that you are being watched remains. Although you survived the encounter, you are confronted with a stark reality. This place is home to creatures beyond your understanding. Shuffle the encounter discard pile and the set-aside Agents of Yig encounter set oh, into the encounter no. deck. These are some bad... We've got Brood of Yigs, Serpents of Yigs, Curse of Yigs. This is bad. All right. Now, here's the... Uh, it's going to get worse, Stephen. Here I was just saying how we were yeah. doing so good. <laughs> Each investigator tests Will at three. Oh, no. Each investigator who fails performs the following in order. Um, bad should... things, other bad things. So why don't, you, uh, okay. why don't you test your will at three? Basically, I'm going to throw in unexpected this is, courage. This is against getting poisoned, basically. Okay. I'm going to throw in unexpected courage, and I'm going to boost my, my willpower to three. Okay. And hope that I get a zero or better. And I get a, uh, this one, a minus five, minus four. So I lost. So what is the bad so, thing that happens? Uh, if you're poisoned, take one damage and one horror, but you're not. If you are not poisoned... Put a set-aside poisoned weakness into play in your threat area. Okay. You were poisoned by the attack from those... Oh, I just... I forgot yep, to you're just supposed to shuffle all of them. Entire thing together. Way to go, Brad. Darn it. That's all right. All right. So that's the end. You have to do the same thing. Oh, yes, I do. Darn it. As soon as you go ahead and shuffle. shuffle. Go ahead and shuffle. And then we will... Uh, I have a cunning plan, though. Do you? I do. My will is four. I've already won a hit. All right. Yeah, that's the one thing that my deck I thought was designed to boost my willpower, but unless there's something else in here at the moment, it is not. I mean, the Lucky Cigarette case is, is a good one to have, but most of the other stuff just boosts my agility and my, my willpower to ridiculous levels. I told you I'm really smart. Yes, you are. Quick thinking for me. Okay. Quick thinking. This is an innate ability. Um, it gives me one question mark, so I add one. Yep. So my will is now five versus three. All right. 
skull minus three. Skull is minus three. I failed. So you failed as well. So we are both poisoned by I'm these uh, serpents of Yig. Boy, that's miserable. Yeah, take All a poison right, card, take dude. My poison card. Yep, that's important blood. There it is. Poison. Weakness. Permanent. Yeah, permanent. permanent. So this gets shuffled into our deck for the rest of the game. Or well, maybe it pops out original. It might be. Um, I hope we can use some medicine too. It might pop out at the beginning. It might be a, a, you automatically have it in play. I'm I'm hoping that we can use some medicine to get rid of it. Possibly that would be good. So okay, so uh, okay, so that was uh, mm -hmm. that. So now we get to go into agenda two. Intruders. What was once excitement has turned to dread. This place is far deadlier than you could have imagined. It is as though the jungle itself wants you out. Explore. Draw the top card of the exploration deck. If it is a connecting location, put it into play and move to it. So the the uh, doom is down nine. Okay. And we did do our uh, encounter stuff. We did. So now we are into the investigator phase. Yep. And... You're going to do a map action. I'm going to do a map so action. So would you like to go first? I would like to go first. Okay. So I know what these first two cards are because right. I've seen them before. This is the exciting one here. Hopefully. All right. This. We are looking for from my location. Not from your location. Uh, Could be. Or it could be from um, somebody else's location. But you'd have to, you know, tell me somehow where I should go. You should, you can, uh, I, I would go, this looks like this. Is Although I think for my three turns, I'm going to put some cards into play and also just hunt that clue. Okay. Then should I maybe explore this thing? Cause I've still got two actions left. Sure. If you can. So I could move and explore. Oh, the shroud here is pretty thick. Yeah, but is it the one we need? It's the ruins of Etsley is what we're looking it is for. It's not. It is just oh. it is just a place. Okay. But see what I'm thinking. I well, hmm. I think hmm. Well, let's just play it safe and I know we've got a doom of 9 on here. So we've got a little bit of time to maybe stack these cards in the way that we want them. So, like, you know, depending on how you stack them, you could even do another map action. Because we, we're looking for... We're the looking ruins for of Etsley. The ruins of Etsley. Because right. that's not the specific... I mean, these are both ancient ruins. Right. But, see, the thing is that this deck is full of... I mean, it's, it, it's, it's, There's a lot of locations in here now. It's striking that I've got a location that will do anything, to be perfectly honest with you. Um... And I kind of want to get it into play. Okay. Because we could, because, okay, so, so. Two on top, one on the bottom. Two on top, one on the bottom. So after, after this exploration. You have two actions left. Then there's other car, a person could explore again. If they're in the right location. Well, I mean, and, and draw some cards. Right. And then reshuffle. Like, I, I yeah. think, I don't think there's anything to be gained by mapping one more time. You don't? I don't. So what you're saying is explore, explore, then go consult or, or the map. Explore and then go consult the map. Yeah. Because if it, if the third card is a really bad card, then I'm just going to put that one on the bottom. Yes. And the top two cards are going to stay the same top right. two. So cards you need to. Now. So you need to explore at least once or twice. Yeah, we need to we need to okay. roll some cards out of here. Okay. All um, right. So where are you going to move to then? So I'm going to move to the path of thorns. Okay, you'll. There's a snake there. Crutkeys. Then I'm going to see, but if I move to the Serpent's Haven, then there could be an even worse snake there. But I'm going to, so I'll just move, move down here to Serpent's Haven. Okay. Because you're not planning on moving. No, I'm not. I'm going to get my other two cards out that I really want to get out, and then I'm going to grab that token. Okay. So I'm going to move, move for my last two Exhaust. actions. Exhaust. Okay. That's All right. Being... So for my first action, I'm going to spend a resource and pull out a magnifying glass. Okay, stop. Oh. That's a fast card. Oh, that's right. You don't need to spend an action to do that. Um, oh, that's right. I still need to use that as pay the resource, though. Right. Then for my... 
because fast, right? Fast cards come out yes. differently. Right? Yes. Um, which again boosts my boosts my intellect. It says if do the instructions specify any kind of timing? No, nope, it just point? says fast. Okay. All right. Then the next one that I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my other my other uh, resource. And even though I have Dr. Milan Christopher, I'm going to let everyone know that I am a lone wolf. Limit one per, this is a talent. Limit one per investigator as an immediate action, you know, one of the curly whip arounds. Mm -hmm. When your turn begins, if there are no other investigators at your location, gain one resource. Okay. For my third action, I am going to investigate this location with now a intellect of one, two, I'm sorry, four, five, six to its four. Uh, this is f minus four, so I did not succeed. Four? Yeah, it's uh, minus, minus one per location, max of five. Weird. So my turn is done. But I did get those cards out, which is fine. But I uh, didn't succeed. Okay, so enemy phase. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then it goes to the upkeep phase and exhaust our cards. Draw a card and gain a resource. All right. And then we move to the mythos phase. So we're going to put one on here. And then Brad gets to draw a card, and then I will draw a card. Ancient evils. Uh, Revelation okay. place one doom on the current agenda. Okay. And I get Lost in the Wilds, Revelation. Test my my, uh, my willpower at three. If you fail, take one horror for each point you fail by and add Lost in the Wilds to your threat area. You cannot move or explore forest at the end of your turn. Discard Lost in the Wilds. So I don't know where I'm at. I've been hanging out here by this river for like two, three turns now, and I'm lost. I cannot find out where Follow I am. the water. But... Yeah, I'm going to lose. I'm going to take a couple of horrors here, Brad. Um, all right. So I got to do this at three. I'm at one. <laughs> all right. Let's let's uh, let's get a lucky card here. Plus one. Well, I only failed by one, so I only have to take one horror. Um, and then I can't, I can't move or explore, so I can investigate. Um, when it is my turn. And speaking of turns, we are now in the investigation phase. Alrighty. Can I go first? Yes, you can. I am going to um, begin. Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Oh, what do you want to do? Uh, when my turn begins. Okay. I'm good. I'm going to begin by getting out a piece of equipment. It's a piece of equipment that I am shocked the door that the Explorer does not carry. Is it a diaper for her monkey in her backpack? It's a machete. Oh, a machete. Okay. Which, uh, it seems like it would be a good idea. In the jungle? Yes. Yeah. Do you think yes. She, could, she could probably use I a lot. I think she should use that a lot. I think Swiper would be done with swiping if yes. Dora carried a machine. <laughs> All right. I uh, told you, Swiper, no swiping. This says, cuts through vines, underbrush, and tentacles equally well. Nice. All right. So I'm going to also explore. Look, it is the Temple of the Fang. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's a location. Ancient ruins. Temple of the Fang gets plus one shroud for each vengeance point in the victory display. So it's so getting three. Shroud here is going to be at five. It gets plus one shroud? Oh, because it's already at two. Yeah. And then it adds yeah. three onto it. Okay. And there's one clue per investigator for two. Rising just over the tree canopy is a time-warm step pyramid of pale stone. A storm of hisses surrounds you from the trees. Victory there is two. Now that's connected to the, to the Serpent's Haven and to the Path of Thorns. Okay, so it goes there and to there, right? Because this is a triangle. Yep. Blue triangle, blue triangle. Okay. Yep. And one clue per investigator. Shroud of five, not good. Shroud of five is a bit high for me. I'm it's, going to. Yeah, it'll um, be high for me too. If I could move down there, but I can't. I'm trying to figure out do I want to also be a loner or do I want to get out some equipment? I think. 
I think I'm going to spend one resource and pull out the lone wolf. Oh, you're also a lone wolf. Yep. Yep. Funny that we're together. Oh, we're not together. Maybe you're in one location. I'm in another location. Yeah. That's true. All right. Well, me and my beat cop are done. That is our three actions. Explore. Um, oh, no. You, I think you have one more. Oh, machete. machete. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So what is the, what can I do here? So you can heal one damage from an investigator at River Canyon. If you have supplies, you could do an additional two damage if you had a canteen. No, I'm not going to do that. Is that once per game? The canteen thing is limit. Um, I, don't, I don't know. It says limit once per game in parentheses. I guess it is just once per game. I don't need it right now. So so I'm beginning my turn. When my turn begins, if there are no other investigators at my location, I get a resource. Hey, look at that. Uh, since I can't move or explore, I think I will. Oh, I can't put that out. I can't put that out. I think I'm going to spend two resources. And I'm going to bring uh, my pickpocket skills into play. Uh, which, again, doesn't cost an action. It's a fast thing. After you evade an enemy exhaust, pickpocketing, draw one card or gain one resource. If you succeed by two or more, do both instead. So, so far, I have done nothing. Because one was a fast, the other was an immediate when your turn begins. Uh, so those are not actions. So for my first action, Brad... Okay. I'm going to investigate this location. The shroud is four. I am at four, five, six. And I think at this point, I don't know if this is a good thing to do or not. At six to its four, I'm up by two. Ah, plus one. So I get this clue. Very good. So that is my first action. Of my second action, I'm going to draw a card. And for my third action, oh, I investigated successfully, so I get a I get a resource. You could explore. I can't. I'm lost in the wilderness. Oh, I cannot move right. or explore. That's right. And I don't know whether for my third action, whether I should take another resource or take another card. Remember, you'll get bonus resources next turn. I'm going to take a card and then end my turn. Sweet. All right. Enemy phase. Enemy phase. They do nothing. nothing. So we will go to the upkeep phase, reset any cards that need to be upkept, and then we will draw a card. Ah, boo! And gain a resource. I got my... I don't know, this guy followed me all the way from Arkham. Brad. It is the stubborn detective, my basic weakness. No. Prey, bearer only, hunter. While stubborn detective is at your location, treat your investigator as if his or her printed text box is blank, except for traits. So I get to get rid of this. So now I have to take out this stubborn detective. And uh, my, I can't evade him because my traits area is blank, or my card is blank. Is that an elite enemy? No, it's not. So I could, I can't get there this turn. Because it would be two moves and then I would. Yeah, and you're done, right? Your turn is done? Or... No, I haven't even. Oh, haven't yeah, even... we were doing the upkeep phase. So yeah. Right. Okay, never mind. You can get there this turn, one, two, and then punch this guy in the face. Oh, yeah, my, I'm sorry. Yeah, my turn is done. No, 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 we're in the upkeep phase, so you can flip that card back over. Oh, that's right. You were drawn a card and so gaining a resource. I know, so many right. cards in yeah. play, right? You know, these weakness cards that pop up during upkeep. So I can move, move, and then I can... He has a fight of three and two hit points. Him. Yeah, it's what's his evasion? Uh, Two. I mean, okay. I can evade him. Okay. But... Um, He's going to hunt you. He is. If if you if you evade him and he hunts you close to me, I can deal with him later. Like if I also get... have a thing. After you evade an enemy, exhaust pickpocketing. Draw one card or gain one resource. If you succeed by two or more, do both instead. And 
Uh, there's, I thought I had something else here. Oh yeah, I have a, I have a way to slip away from this guy that would lock him up for two turns. Okay. So. All right then. Let's not worry about him. And I have just enough. We'll just cost you an action for the evade eventually. Yep. Yeah. All right. So did you get your resource also? I did. All right. So uh, mythos phase. Mythos phase. And we've only got one clue. So we need to kind of hurry it up because we need six and we are at six turns left. Treachery. Curse of Yig. Curse. Revelation. Put Curse of Yig into play in your threat area. You get minus one fight, minus one health, and gain the serpent trait. Oh, I've gained the serpent trait, Steve. Mm, that's not good, right? Yeah, this picture is not good. It pairs that I have become slightly scaly. Oh, gross. Remember that, remember that movie? No. Remember that? Oh, wow, it was a great 70s. I think your hat was a little too tight no. on your head there, Brad. Was great, you, don't, you don't remember? I don't, I don't remember that. I was on TV all the time when I was a kid. Well, if you remember, leave a comment. I, it was a... It was a Dreadful but awesome little movie. I want to say Struther Martin was in it, actually. Let's check check IMDb later. All right. I get minus one fight, minus one health, and gain the serpent trait. As an action, I can test my will at two. This test gets plus one difficulty for each vengeance point in the victory display. If you succeed, discard Curse of Yig. I don't know. I, it's interesting that I have the serpent trait. I'm not going to... But you... All your things are lowered. I've got minus one fight, but I've got a machete and a beat cop with okay. me right now, so I can take that. And minus one health, so my health is seven instead of eight. Oh, you got a health of eight? Wow. Yeah. Okay. And I've been, I got the serpent trait. I'm, All right. I'm a that's, serpent, maybe that's man. not so bad, except yeah. for that scaly, itchy thing, and your eyes are starting to cloud over because it it's time to molt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I get. Brood of Yig. Humanoid monster serpent hunter. Brood of Yig gets plus one fight for each vengeance point. So this is a plus five. Uh, I'm sorry. This is a five fight. This fight is five. This fight is five. This is evade. Two. Hmm. I think I need to come up there and help you, bud. Yeah. And he doesn't have, I mean, this is a guy you want to kill. I was going to, I was going to try to maybe, you know, shed some light on things and, uh, Probably not. Let's, I think let's I clear up. Okay, up so now we're in the investigator phase. If you can take out this brood of Yig, it's a fight of five, uh, three hit points. So what I want to do is not fight him so much as evade him. Oh, well, I'm the one that would have to evade him. Well, I can. It's just my thing is that it's it's because he's not engaged with me. It's just going to be a bit of a trick getting there and then getting him to engage me and then. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. You don't have enough. Uh, I don't have enough actions for that. You don't have enough actions. So. Well, here we are at the top of the action round. Yep. I'm going to get my lone wolf. Okay. Or do you want to, I mean, do you want to go first? I, no, you go ahead and go first. All right. Because I'm not moving anywhere. Well, I can get there. So if I, if I have that guy engage me, he will attack me instead of you. Oh, actually you could just, if I, if I can evade him. If I can evade him, then when he resets, he will, he's got the hunter keyword. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. He's got the hunter keyword. So he could engage the person with the fewest, is it health? I think it's the fewest health. And we are both at seven for health. Okay. So and then I can, I can definitely evade the stubborn detective and I can cripple him for essentially two rounds. And that would give us time to get away from him or do whatever else we need to do. But he will also continue to prey on me going forward. Right. All right. I'm going to come up there. Okay. So my first action will be a move. My second action will be a move. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the question, though. So I can, I could, I could fight either of these guys, and put a, put a point of damage on them. Only one point? Well, Because well, this guy's at three. And he's only got two hit points. Doesn't your machete give you a plus one so, to damage? Here's what it says. Action fight. Mm -hmm. You get plus one fight for this attack. If yep. the attacked enemy is the only enemy engaged with you, oh. this attack deals plus one damage. Oh, yeah. So he's not engaged with you. He's engaged with me. Yeah. 
Um, okay, let's. You know, the thing I could do is I could use my. I could. I realized by going first, I took your lone wolf. No, you didn't. Oh, yeah, yeah that's true. I did. That's true. Maybe you should go first. That's fine if you want to rewind that. If you go first, then I could. Yeah, let's rewind that. I'll take this back. I'll go back here. Why don't you go first okay. and do what you're going to do with evading? All right, I will go first. So I will use a lone wolf and get a resource. Okay. Then for brood of yig. Uh, I'm going to evade. His evade is two. And my evade at this point is four. I'm up by two. And I'm just going to throw in fine clothes to put me up by three. Okay. Okay. And this is brood of yig. So... When I run, he's going to, I'm only going to be able to move to one location. So maybe I'll move down here. If I, if I succeed. Well, if you run. Well, I've got to evade this guy too. Oh, that's right. Plus one. So he is evaded at this location. Then I'm going to lock him down for basically two rounds. How are you going to do that? Because I'm going to spend two resources and I'm going to play evade. And this one is add your intellect to your skill value for this evasion attempt. If you succeed by two or more and the evaded enemy is non-elite, it does not ready during the next upkeep phase. Okay. So this card goes away. I am currently sitting at to my skill value for this evasion attempt. So what I'm essentially adding is my uh, agility with my with my intellect. And my intellect is, as we said before, six. I am at ten to his two. Okay. And I get the death's head skull, which is minus three. Minus three. I still succeed. He is evaded here, and he will not uh, reset during the upkeep phase. This one will. Okay. Okay. And then for my final action, I'm going to, let's see. After you succeed by a skill test of uh, two or more, exhaust lucky card and draw one card. After you evade an enemy... Um, exhaust pickpocketing, draw one card, gain one resource over you see by two or more, do both instead. So I'll draw a card. And that exhausts that pickpocketing. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then Yeah, that is. Then I'm gonna just move down here. So I'm closer to you. Okay. And then my turn is done. So yes, I'm done, Brad. All right. Now, if you wanted to... So here's the thing. Depending on how you're going to do this guy, I mean, he's got to fight a five. Right. Um, he's got a hunter keyword. So he's going to come down here. No, he'll... If I, I mean, I'll, if you if you spend all your time moving up here. I'll get it. I'll, it's okay. You could do an explorer. And then you could either still move to. No, I need to get a piece of equipment out. Okay. All right. No. I, the, yeah, the, or you could get a piece of equipment out, then move. And then get something, put out your piece of equipment or whatever. And then just let him come down here and attack you and engage with you. But again, we've got this coming up. And we don't know what that will be. Right. So... <clears throat> So if I'm looking at these symbols, mm -hmm. I know there's a symbol that's not visible. One of the one of the oh, so it's another ruins, ruins. cannot be accessed from any of these symbols. Okay. Um. But this one here, the one that looks kind of like a diagonal equal sign, looks yeah. promising. And the one that looks like an hourglass looks promising. I don't know if those are ruins or if those are just other. I bet they're ruins. Other locations we haven't seen yet. I bet they're ruins. 
because there were no other cards over here that attached to either of these. This one only came out attached to that. But if I explore, I'm going to get sucked over there. Yeah, that's true. But I kind of want to explore. I mean, this guy is actually pretty evadable. Yes. Boy, I'm I'm kind of now I'm now I'm torn. I think we could just evade that guy. I think I should I should just explore and see what happens. Yeah, because okay. as soon as we find the ruins of Etsley, and we have the number of clues, but that's the other thing. Clue, is we have and that's the thing. Is we've got the one. We clue. need five more clues. And there, are only, there are only three on the board, and one of them is in a snake hole in the path of thorns. And this one is I could come over here shroud and investigate the heck out you can, of that. You can probably get that stuff. The shroud is five. Oh yeah, yeah I, I've got a sh- I've got seven, and I've got more things that I can throw in. Yeah. All right. I will. I will. I will explore. And we'll see what happens. This could get bad. So this one doesn't go anywhere. Okay. So you get this a good arrows from the trees. You get to ignore that one. I think it goes into the discard. Goes in the discard over here. Does it? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's double check. I think it's in the in the book, the book version of Explore. Well, but no, because normally it would go, it would shuffle back into here. No, I don't think so. Yes. If a treachery card is drawn, it is resolved as normal. If it is discarded, place it in the encounter discard oh, pile as okay. you normally. All right. There is no discard pile for the exploration deck. This is considered an unsuccessful exploration. Okay. So then that's so that done. Was unsuccessful. So now, so now you have to shuffle that. Right. And then. So you've only used one action at this point. Right. Now I could explore again. And if it's unsuccessful, I can explore again. Crawl up there to you. Yeah. Overgrowth. Revelation. Mm. Attached to your location. Limit one per location. You cannot explore at attached location. As an action, test fight at four to hack through the brush or intellect at four to find another route. If you succeed, discard overgrowth. So I can sit there and fight this. I can I can move in there and take care of that with my intellect and then snag those two clues. And I'm not even really sure that there's anything. You know, we're not sure that that's even a place to explore from. Frankly. Right. We need to probably consult um, the map. It's got that two. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to spend my third action to move back up here. Oh, I should have gotten an extra. Yeah, because you're a lone wolf. A lone wolf, yeah. I'm going to move up here to your location, and that will end my turn. Those are my three actions. Okay. All right. Enemies. Enemy phase. Uh, they are all preoccupied. Yes. Nothing happens with yep. enemies. So now it is the upkeep phase. All right. This guy does not he does reset. Not, he does not reset. But this one does. That one does. The Brood of Yig is there at the river. My two cards... Reset. I draw a card. I draw a card. Oh, man. Another weakness. So here's here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I got a weakness. Caught yeah. red-handed. Revelation. Ready each enemy at your location or a connecting location. So I think he has to ready. I think the detective has to ready. Ready each enemy at your location or... I mean, what was or mean? Ready each enemy at your location or a connecting location. But this it doesn't, is a say, con- doesn't say and. doesn't say ready each enemy at your location and each connecting location. No, but it says or a connecting location. So I think that guy has to ready. All right. And this is the bad part. Each hunter enemy at a connecting location moves one location towards you. Oh, please. Yep. All right. Well, this hunter. Mm, hold on, does, let's see. Okay, that's not a terror card. So, if no enemies move as a result of this effect, shuffle caught red-handed back into your deck. So, all right. So those guys are both going to move down here. So he's going to engage you. Um. Yes. Because they he will move down. Doesn't care about yes. me. And I will take the brood of Yig to engage me. All right. And I will deal with him. Okay. Um, Brood of Yig looks pretty... Uh, they're pretty scary dudes. Creepy dudes. Yeah. yeah, they're just stretching those boa constrictors over their heads. 
All right. It is the end of the upkeep phase. Did you get a resource? Um, I think I did. Okay. We won't be able to use Lone Wolf, but now it is the Mythos phase. We'll add one. And uh, Brad, you may draw a lucky card. Ancient Evils, Revelation, place one doom on the current agenda. Dark forces stir against you. If you do not act quickly, a sinister plot will be fulfilled. Yeah. You're not going to make it. Ah, dang it. Pit Viper. Forced after Pit Viper deals damage from your attack. If it's not poison, pull it. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I'm going to have to do some. I mean, this location is dead, basically. I'm going to handle Brood of Yig. Oh, I can't because he's on me and I can't. I didn't get this equipment out that I said I needed to get out. Yeah. Oh, we screwed that up so bad, Steve. Yep. We choked. We choked, choked, because this Brood of Yig has got a fight of five. All right. Well, I'm going to, if you don't mind, I'm going to go, yeah, ahead, go and ahead him unless you want to. No, go ahead. I've got nothing. All right. So my ally feed cop gets me plus one. And my machete gets me plus one. My curse of yeg gets me minus one. So I'm at four, five for my fight. To its five. Five to its five. That's not very Great. good. Do you have anything you can throw in? I have nothing to throw in. I am. I have, I have no fight in. cards. I don't want to, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw it in. I'm gonna throw this in. Quick thinking. I'm at six to its five. I'm up by one. Okay. Will you be able to kill it? Not this round. Okay. Zero. All right. So it takes two damage because it is the only enemy engaged with me now. So my machete does an extra point of damage to it. First action. I did not win by two, so I don't get to use the quick thinking extra action. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that again, this time without quick thinking. Yeah. So I'm four to its... No, I'm five to its five. It doesn't have retaliate or anything? So the fight... Wait, that action... That doesn't tap my machete, does no, it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Or exhaust. Sorry. It would say exhaust if you were to exhaust it. Skull minus three. <sighs> All right, I'm going to try again. Okay. Because he's only got one more hit point. We do need to kind of get rid of him. Right, now, I could discard my beat cop. No, don't. Because you're five to five? Right. Five. I'm five to his five. I'm, I'm dead if you even. discard the beat cop, what happens? He's dead. The I beat mean, cop is dead? Both. I discard beat cop, deal one damage to oh, enemy. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Do you have another, hopefully, person in your hand? No. No. Of course not. Probably ought to do that. Because the odds are not in your favor. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's going to go down here to the vengeance pile, right? No, he is not. Oh, he's okay, going to go good. to the discard pile. Yay! It's nothing. So those are your three turns, right? No. The discard the B-cop was not a thing. Oh, it was not a thing. Okay. All right. So that's two actions I took. Yeah, unless you want to punch this uh, pit viper in the face for one. I mean, I could theoretically explore from here, but I, I really. Like, the pit viper. Yeah, because if I evade it, it's basically locking off these two locations. I'll put one more in our vengeance thing. Yeah, that's also bad, too. So, so maybe just maybe I'll just evade it. My fight is at four. Maybe I'll just, uh, and I can evade these guys. All right, you know what I'm going to do, Stephen? Yes. I'm going to spin two, and I'm going to pull out this asset. Okay. That I've been meaning to pull out for a while, handcuffs. Oh, nice. It's a good thing you can handcuff a snake. Well, I can't handcuff a snake, but I can handcuff a humanoid. Oh, okay. What do you have to do to that? Uh, it's an evade action. But I evade using my fight. Instead yeah, but of my... you can't engage this guy, right? I know, I know, I know. Or actually, you probably could engage with him. I probably could, yeah. Could because he, the prey engage. is only me. He right. only preys on me. Yeah, I could spin an action to engage him. Yeah. Yeah, so next turn, if you're still hanging around here. Okay. So do I... Should I, I evade him? I don't know. Yeah, sure. And evade the Pit Viper, which is going to lock up this location. 
or at least make it well, cost one viper more turn will. to get through. So the pit viper, I'm beating it by. Oh, I'm only beating it by one. To evade it. To evade it. We're about to fight it. I'm only beating it by. Oh, I'm not beating it. Okay. I'm tied. I'm All tied right. on both of these guys. Okay, so let me evade it. I will evade the pit viper and get a zero. So I evade him. So he's going to engage me next turn. Well, maybe. Well, he's evaded. Okay. Now, stubborn detective. Uh, okay, I'm going to use my pickpocket. Well, can't do that now. After you evade an enemy, exhaust pickpocketing. Draw one card or draw again. So we are at the number of vengeance points. So that three. is three. And I am beating him by two, so I lost by one. So you did not evade him. Nope, but I will try to evade him again. That's my last action. So we're just wasting actions. This is excruciating. This is how we always screw these up. Well, I, I mean, we have to, right? right? I mean, right. I know, I know. It's just okay. Here we go. Oh, but the problem is, I can't oh. use my, I can't use my what? stupid thing because what? while while stubborn detective is in your location, treat your investigator if his or her printed text box were blank except for traits. So my elder sign effect plus one for each exhausted enemy in play. If you succeed by two or more, you may discover one clue at your location. Doesn't help, but it's a victory. So he's is exhausted. So it's not a minus, so I guess it counts as a zero. So. Yeah. Okay. So those are two exhausted, and I am now done. Which again, they're just you going to engage. I can't. Just, they're just going. To they're just going to engage with me again. So hopefully, uh, let's see. So but right. but I did evade. Draw one card or gain a resource. So I'm going to draw a card. Damn it. Um. You should have done that when you evaded the. Uh, I know. That's what I, that's what I was thinking, but I was hoping that I might be able to get this guy by two. Mm. All right. So that's my turn. That is your turn. It is the enemy's turn. Everybody is going to do nothing, which is kind of good, I guess. Yeah. 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 Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now it is the upkeep phase. So these guys are going to reset. I'm going to reset. You're going to reset. And then we, man, we are, we screwed this game up. We went into the second half of this and really screwed up, Brad. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone down there probably. No, probably not. All right. Um, so now we are, need to draw a card and gain a resource. All right, this might actually help. I'm going first this turn. I'm telling you. All right. So. Okay, well, I can take care of my guy this, t- this time. Well, I can take care of your guy this time. I'm, no, I can... I can knock him out. I've got a backstab tactic that can... You're going to beat him up? That can, yeah. Well, use my agility instead. Oh, my goodness, kitty cat. Mr. Mojo. Yes, I will be able to take him out. Okay, uh, put another... We are, like, literally three away, so we're not going to win. We're not going to win this before this card flips. Curse of Yig. Revelation. Put Curse of Yig into play in your threat area. Now I've got minus two fight, minus two Is it two one health. per investigator or not? Nope. Oh. Gain the ser- I've really got the serpent tra- trait. Action test will at two. This test gets plus one difficulty for each vengeance point in the victory display. I'm about to make it more difficult. Killing this pit viper. How do you get rid of those? i got to test my will, which is plus one difficulty for each Vengeance as point. an action, or you test yep, it now? As an action. Oh, man, an that action. sucks. Yep. Does. All right. Does. And I get... Hey, a snake bite. Hazard poison. Revelation. Test my agility at three. If you fail, you must either choose damage, take f- deal five damage to an ally asset you control, or take one direct damage. If you're not poisoned... Oh, I can choose one. So, Milan Christopher will be Okay. All right, so oh, minus three. I will take a direct damage, mm. and I'm already poisoned, so that's okay. 
Okay, Brad, would you you said you wanted to go first? I do. So you got a pit viper and two things on you. So my for my reaction, I'm going to play an ally asset. Oh, nice. It's cost by one. Sweet. So big cock's going to pop out there. It's going to offset my curse of yig that I just got. Then I'm going to attack the pit viper. Uh, even with my curses of yig, I'm at four versus its three. That's kind of really good. I'm going to hit by one. Minus three. Oh, dang it. Try again. Well, I can't do the thing I was going to do to take care of your guy. For That's a, I got my guy taken care of. He's he's dead. Try again. Head by one. There you Zero. go. All right. Uh, that's bad. So that's two. I'm going to get out of here. Okay. I'm, I'm going up to the river yes. canyon. Hopefully I can you can heal it. Though. Oh, you don't have any damage. Any damage to me. Can you believe that? I know, right? All this, I don't I'm, I've damage. only got one damage and one horror. So this is, I kind of like my deck now that I understand how it works <clears> and how it's supposed to work. Because yeah. I think you had some questions last time about I did. I didn't understand on the way your deck was yeah. built with so many just, characters. But yeah. they do come in handy. Yep. All, All right. right. So for th- I'm done. You're done. I'm going to spend three to put... Um, This is an event for backstab fight. This attack uses agility instead of punchy fists. Okay. This attack deals plus two damage. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also going to throw it. So I'm at four to his uh, three. And then I'm going to throw in you handle this one, which just for the, uh, for the agility. So I'm at five to his three. And if I punch him, he's out. So I hope that I can punch him. Okay. You say so. I was not following any of that. So, so. I'm up by I'm up by uh, I'm up by two. Okay. Yeah. Because you lost five. me. At, you're using that for agility, but you're punching him. Yep. Okay. Ah, plus one. Yeah. He is gone and is no longer problem. Because it did so. I punched him for one, and then the backstab uh, for this fight, uh, this attack deals plus two damage. Okay. So. So that was my first action. You go. For my second action, I'm going to move down here. And for my third action, I'm going to use intellect to um, find a different route and get rid of this. Okay. So my intellect now is four, five, six. Oh, you'd already moved. So I get a resource because of my lone wolf. Right. Now, a skill test is not a fight, right? Um, fight is an action. Okay, so that's not a skill test? No. Okay. So um, I'm at, what is this? This is a skill test. Oh, this, this is an action, yeah. Skill test, will, or intellect at four. So I'm at four, five, six. So I'm up by two. I'm going to throw in Milan Christopher at this point. To put me up by three. Okay. Do it. No, and I'm Minus lost by one. Four. Minus Ugh. four. Ugh. So that goes away. God, that's annoying. All right, I'll throw in magnifying glass. Wait. Put... Oh, no, that was my last that was turn. Action. That was your last action, dude. Okay. All right, enemy turn. Uh, you have no enemies. I have no enemies. Okay. It is now the upkeep phase. So we'll flip our cards. We will reset any actions. Draw a card. Draw a card. And take a resource. All right. I think I should go first, by the way. Oh, well, we still need to now go to yeah, no, okay. this. So we're at seven. Mm-hmm. Two more turns. Serpent from Yoth. Humanoid monster serpent. While there are one or more vengeance points in the victory display, serpent from Yoth gains retaliate. While there are two or more vengeance points in the victory display, serpent from Yoth gains hunter. <sighs> While there are three or more vengeance points in the victory display, serpent from Yoth takes one less damage from each attack made against it. Should we resign? Absolutely not. Okay. 
this. That's why I have handcuffs. All right. I get the Brood of Yig. Hunter, Brood of Yig gets plus one fight for each vengeance points in the victory display. And he's at, what are we at? Four. Yep. So he's at six. I'm going to evade. I'm just going to evade him. I can evade him without a problem. Okay. All right. It is the investigator turn. Brad, would you like to go first? I would like to go first. You have to successfully evade. First thing is I'm going to successfully evade. Is it an automatic success? Yes, dude, no, I've got to, I've got to work at it. Okay. Because you've so already got, got some negatives minus, going on. So I'm, I'm going to use my handcuffs. Okay. Uh, evade. Use only on a humanoid enemy. This evasion attempt uses fight instead of agility. If you succeed, attach handcuffs to the just evaded enemy. If the attached enemy is non-elite, he is not. He is non-elite. That's correct. It cannot ready and doom cannot be placed on it. Okay. So he's locked He's down. locked down. Just like these guys right. are locked down. Well, but I'm using my fight. But I'm at minus two from my curses of Yig. But I'm at plus two from my B-cop and machete. So my fight is four. His evade is three. Oh, man. So I'm going to throw in this other machete card to put me to five. I'm up by two, Stephen. Okay. These were doing so well, too. Plus one. Nice. So he is locked down. He is locked down here. He's going. But he can ready, but he can't attack. Um, He cannot ready and oh, Doom okay. can be placed on it. He's done. Oh, he's done. He's, he's just okay. not in our victory display. All right. Unfortunately. Okay. So for my second action. You're going to move. I'm going to move up here. Uh-huh. And I'm going to map. Okay. So three cards. All right. <laughs> you want to be here. Okay. I'll evade a move and explore. Yep. We but can. we don't have the clues. You don't... We need six clues Sorry, per so investigator, we're, we're, too. So there, there are a bunch of clues going to pop okay. out here. Not quite enough. Okay. All right. But... A bunch. We got super lucky. Okay. <clears throat> well, first I have to succeed on evading this thing. That was thing. my third action. All right. I'm going to try to evade. I'm going to evade a four against its two. Is that a hunter? It is a hunter. Okay. Zero. So got he it. is evaded. I'm going to, for my second action, move. As you shouted from the treetops, I heard it echo through space time. <laughs> and then I will explore, and I get the Ruins of Etsli! Ah! Shroud of three. Four clues here. After you fa fail a skill test while investigating the Ruins of Etsli, draw the top card of the encounter deck. Okay. So I will immediately get moved down there. And that's your third, third action. But you were there. Yep, I'm there. Now, not to get too far ahead of ourselves, but if you can get those four clues, I'll come down here and get this one. Yeah, but remember, this has got some bad stuff if you uh, fail. Yeah, yeah, but I'm awesome, Stephen. Okay, if you say so, Brad. All right, so that's the end of our turn. Enemy phase. Everybody is locked down. That's great. It is the upkeep phase. Everybody readies who can ready. This guy will ready. Then it is, uh, yep, yep. And then we get to upkeep the heck out of this by drawing cards and gaining resources. I can't believe I got both my weaknesses in this game. And I'm actually burning through this deck fairly quickly. I am more than halfway through my deck, hmm. which is, as people know from previous games, kind of rare for me. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. We place one doom on, or one myth doom on the mythos. Oh, we're so close. We are. That's is the, this, is this the last that's nine. This is, we got one this more. So, yeah. Yep. 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 Oh, there's no freaking way you can get all those clues. Is there, do you have any like clue hoovering? No. <sighs> Go ahead and take a card, Brad. All right. I'm so close. Low on supplies, blunder, peril, revelation. You must decide. Each investigator loses two resources. Each investigator takes one damage. 
Each investigator chooses and discards an asset he or she controls. I'm kind of, my health is down to six, but I'm still up for taking a damage. But I can also lose resources. I'm fine with that. Uh, I'd rather keep my resources, so I'll take a damage as well. Okay. And I get... Oh, dang it! Overgrowth. It's all right. I don't care. Yeah, it does, because I have to... You cannot... Oh, I can explore. Oh, yeah. but I can still... Yeah. I can still grab. Okay. All right. Uh, top of the round. Let's see. I've got one. I can... Get your uh, lone wolf. Yeah, I'm going to... I mean, if you want me to go first. Oh, whoever goes... I don't... I If I go first, I just had to move down here. Um, that viper will engage me. I'll have to kill it. Or don't let it just attack you for one damage. No, because I have to... I, oh, I see. So I could... I can investigate and take the one damage. I see what you're saying. And then evade it and move? No, that won't be enough. I can investigate and take the one damage. Yeah, okay, that's what I'll do. All right. And that way we'll be one clue closer. The shroud... Okay, first, maybe I will get out something to help me with my... Yeah, let me... I don't know what's in my deck that might help me on investigations that might give me... You can only perform a parlay against things that have parlay on them, right? Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think we just got to do it. We're going to end up flipping that card. Okay. So I'm going to take... I'll just go first. I'll get a lone wolf. I'm going to investigate this location. The shroud is three. My intellect is six. I'm going to handle... I'm going to throw in this uh, card that has an... um, intellect on it, uh, one point. So that puts me up to seven. So I'm up by four. So I get a plus one. So I get one clue. I now have two clues. I wish I had something to get you an extra clue. There was a thing that I thought I had that you got the basic. I I also get a, I also get a, um, after you successfully investigate, gain one resource. Does your, did, did you trigger your lucky Cigarette case? Uh, if after you succeed a skill test by two or more. Well, that's a skill test, right? Or is it? It's an, an investigate, investigate. So I don't think that's a skill test. Oh, darn it. Let's double check that because I could have swore I had a card. Yeah, that yeah. one doesn't do it. Investigate is an action each yeah. time an investigator. Oh no! Okay, all right. Each time an investigator takes this action, he or she makes an intellect test. Against the shroud value of that location, see skill tests. All right. So after you succeed by a skill test of two or more, which I did, exhaust lucky and draw a card. This one goes away. Uh, this this is going to be nice if I uh, get another bad card, but it doesn't help me here. Um, let's see. So I will investigate again as my second action. So I'm up by, what did I say? I'm at uh, four, five, six to its three. So I'm up by three. Oh, and I vengeance points. There's one, two, three, four. So I lost that one. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and throw in, at this point it doesn't matter, I don't think. I'm going to throw in flashlight for two, which I should have played, but I was... Flashlight is two, two? Yep. So or, I'm sorry, one okay. one thing on it. So now I'm up by um, I'm up by four, and I get the squid head. Oh, automatic fail because I'm poisoned. So there's my turn, Brad. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do this just on the off chance that this doesn't you know end in complete utter disaster. Yeah, no, go ahead and do it. Thing. No, go so ahead. I'm going to move down here. I just screwed that up, but that's okay. I'm going to. I don't think you could have. Cutting all four of them. I don't think I could have. So the pit viper engages me. Yep. I'm That's oh no, fine. wait, wait, before I move. No, 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 no. Okay, wait. I got too excited. Okay. Roll that back. I'm going to take a resource, a resource for Lone Wolf. Okay. Then I'm going to spend two to pull out my flashlight. Okay. So that's your first action. 
And then I'm going to move as my second action. Uh -huh. This guy's going to jump on me. Right. He will engage me. For my third action, I'm going to investigate, which means he will bite me. Bite me, I said. Mm -hmm. He's going to bite the cop. Okay. All right. And then I have flashlight reduces Just the shroud by, by two. two. So, so the shroud, shroud is, is only one. one. My intellect is three. So I'm up, up by two. I'm going to drop this Leo DeLuca card. Okay. To put my intellect at four. Two, it's one. Two, it's one. So I'm up by three. See, I really should have gotten the flashlight out on my turn, but I just thought that I could get it. Zero. Zero. Nice. So you got one clue. So now we have three clues. I also used one of my three supplies from the flashlight. Okay. Did I? Did yep. I spin my supplies? For the you guy? did. Okay. All right. So we have two clues. We do. So we have uh, three clues, actually. We have half the clues we need. Three clues. Yeah. Yeah, so the one that I was thinking of, I, I, I have this thing called logical reasoning. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it out. Play only, play if you have at least one clue. Choose an investigator at your location. That investigator either, either heals two horror or discards a terror card from his or her threat area. You don't, neither one of those are terror cards. So no, that's the one I was thinking that could have yeah. helped me out. So, all right, is the enemy phase. The enemy is going to attack you, Brad. All right, I will take one damage. Bite my ankle. All right. All right, and then it is the upkeep phase. So we can flip our character cards. And we will draw a card and gain a resource. Count your card hand, and Two. then we now will advance. Oops. Wah, wah, wah. Dang it. So close, Brad. Where did we screw up? Well, I mean, Every, the game's not over playing yet. Playing the game. The game's course. not over yet, right? Here, you read the agenda. Sure. You read the sad news, Brad. You find yourself in an endless loop, traversing the same path through the jungle over and over again. No matter which direction you walk, you the result is the same. It has been hours... Perhaps even, oh, I should have resigned up there. Could have, yeah. Oh, it just would have been me, though. It has been hours, perhaps even days. Meanwhile, you can hear the serpent creatures hissing in the trees, mocking you from afar. Out of food and exhausted from lack of sleep, you collapse against a half-rotted tree. Your vision becomes hazy. Each investigator is defeated. Each investigator who is not poisoned adds a set-aside poison weakness to his or her deck. We All right. Defeated. We are defeated. Let's see. If no resolution was reached, each investigator resigned or was defeated. Wednesday, July 1st, 1925. I still have no idea how we made it back to camp alive. The jungle was more perilous than we could have possibly imagined. This may read like a, the ravings of a lunatic, but I cannot explain it any other way. Being lost in the jungle was no picnic, but that was the least of our worries. The rainforest was guarded, guarded by unfathomable horrors, serpentine creatures driven by anger and hate, hunting us relentlessly. I like that's a good ties in very well. Yeah. Perhaps just as deadly were the human natives of the rainforest. They appeared to be Aztec warriors as far as dress and speech were concerned. Despite the conquering of the Aztec people hundreds of years ago, these warriors somehow survived. How they managed to remain undiscovered this long is beyond us. I thought Alejandro would be excited to learn more about them, but he was more disturbed and then fascinated. I suppose he has a right to be incredulous. Nothing about this expedition makes sense. The serpent creatures chased us for what seemed like days. Finally, we were able to find our way back to camp, but the price was steep. We had lost all progress we had made, and many of us were injured or afflicted by serpent venom. We have no choice but to send runners to the nearest city for additional supplies and wait to recover from our wounds. In your campaign log, record the investigators were forced to wait for additional supplies. Hmm. Well, this is a little bit of uh, fun bits. If it was Act 1 or 2 when the scenario ended, which it wasn't. It was Act 3. Ooh. If you fought Iktaka, we didn't. If Iktaka was leading the way, record in your campaign log that the investigators have earned Iktaka's trust. 
Okay. I C H T A K A is a A C A. A C A. That's okay though. Record in your campaign log that Alejandro chose to remain at camp. Do not add Alejandro Vea to any investigator's deck, which he was a uh, card that we had sitting out. Chose to remain at camp. Yep. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory value of each card in the victory display. So we each earn one. No, we earn two. We also got Serpent's Oh, that's right. Yeah. Is there anybody else out here that is? No, this guy would have been worth two. Uh, okay. Uh, and this one would have been worth two. All right, so we got two. Two experience points. Man, some good resolutions here. Okay, here we go. Interlude. Restless Nights. Well, before we get to this, Brad, where do you think we screwed up, or was there no way that we... Should we have just been evading? Because it, it would have ended up wasting a turn, because if we were... In an area where a creature was, we'd move in, it would engage with us. We got bogged down up here. I don't think we screwed up. I, I think I'm just thinking was... for the next part of the campaign because I think that if there was a snake here, you moved in, it engages with you, you immediately invade it. So that would be two turns. And then you have one turn to investigate. Then the next time it will it will activate, it will immediately engage with you. So at the beginning of your turn, you evade, you move to another location. So there's two turns and you investigate, providing that the uh, location wasn't already infested with something else. So here's, here's what I'll tell you. We, if, if, so we were defeated, right? Yeah. The punishment was minuscule. We don't have Alejandro with us. And, but we're poisoned still. And we did help it, uh, it talk the, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure that Talk this on. was as bad as... No, but been. man, we were... I, I, I recently that's... played another game, uh-huh. uh, Seventh Continent, uh-huh. and I went through the very beginning curse, right? The one they tell you to start with. Right. And I was one away, one card away from getting to the destination before the curse hit me. Right. I feel the same thing happened here. Yeah. I... And I mean, we've lost before, but I mean, until I said, Brad, we are doing really great. Which, is, of course, seems to be a curse on this show, right? We were doing... Look at this. We we didn't we didn't die. Mm-hmm. We didn't go crazy. But at the same time, we didn't complete... So I don't... I mean, we I, plowed through this. Such the way this game goes, right? I mean, we didn't end up with a bunch of terrible stuff happening to us. True. And that's... And, that's, and so, on the plus side, a bunch of bad stuff did not happen to us. And from everything I've read about this campaign... Mm-hmm. This campaign, especially jungle stuff, is brutal. It is tough. Mm. And so I think maybe you're right. Maybe we did come out ahead. Yeah. Or did we? Ugh. Is there more? Restless Nights, Interlude 1. Ugh. Check your supplies. Each investigator with a blanket reads Restful Sleep. The rest read Tossing and Turning. Restful Sleep. Mercifully, I was able to sleep through each night. However, while my body rested, my mind was plagued by nightmares. A cavern like a gaping maw bathed in dim red light. The walls slithering with glimmering scales of a hundred vipers. It might have been better had I not slept at all. I suffer no ill effects. You get to read Tossing and Turning. First bubble, second paragraph. Yeah. Tossing and Turning. Those nights in the jungle, I barely slept. A strange fog rolled through the camp each night, plunging the area in an intense and peculiar cold. My bedroll offered some protection against the elements, but we hadn't been prepared for this unnatural weather. Flies and mosquitoes buzzed in my ears every time I began to drift off. Even when I finally slept, I would soon be startled awake by the crawling of an insect or lizard across my face. I'll wager I get very little sleep on this journey. You suffer one physical or mental trauma from not having a blanket for my Linus. Wow. So I'm going to take one physical trauma. All right. The next part. Oh, no, this gets worse. Check your supplies. The investigators as 
as a group, must cross off one provision per investigator from their supplies. For each provision they cannot cross off, choose an investigator to read low on rations. So I'm going to cross off binoculars. Oh, no, one provision, right? One provision, okay, one yeah. provision, okay. Not supply. Yeah. Okay. Man, that's bad. So we both crossed off provisions. You begin the next scenario with three fewer resources. Oh, no, wait. Um, so how would you read this? So it says read this, but then there's this, and then there's another paragraph. Okay. So I'm guessing the low on provisions. In order, read each of the following sections. Check your supplies. Does that go with low on provisions? I think that goes, okay. Yeah, because look, that's also how they did the you suffer one's physical trauma. Okay, all right. Yep. The lead investigator must choose one investigator to be the group's lookout. Then that investigator checks his or her supplies. I'm going to guess it's you. Okay, if he or she has binoculars, he or she reads Shapes of the Trees. Hey, I got binoculars. Hey. All right. Otherwise, he or she reads Eyes in the Dark. Shapes in the Trees. Most of the nights passed without incident, but on this night, I was startled by the rustling of tree branches along the southern border of our camp's clearing. Despite the darkness, I was able to use my binoculars to see shapes moving in the trees. The shapes appeared human, but why? Why do they only watch us from afar? What is their purpose? You earn two additional experience as you gain further insight into the motivations of Etsley. Nice. So that's me that gains two additional experience. Yes, you do. All right. Check your supplies. Each investigator with medicine may cross it off from their supplies to choose and remove a poisoned weakness from any investigator's deck. Each investigator that still has a poisoned weakness in his or her deck reads The Poison Spreads. So who wants, do you want the poison or I'll not? I'll take it. I mean, you had the medicine. Okay, so I go ahead and cross off the medicine, and you can read The Poison Spreads. All right. As the days went by, the poison continued to spread through my body. By the second night, my skin was drenched in sweat. I started having difficulty breathing, and I began every morning by retching up most of the previous night's dinner. Oh, no. I suffer one physical trauma. Oh, man. So that's two, right? Yep. Oh, man. Hmm. All right. Well, the next thing that we do is uh, that's the end of that. And we will go check out scenario two, the doom of Etsley next time on Munchkin land. Even though we lost Brad, even though you're poisoned and you've got two trauma that are going to start the game. Now, does it say to keep the poison? It didn't say to keep the poison card. Poison did it? is permanent. It's a permanent card. Permanent. Permanent. Page Mine 16. is removed from the investigator's deck. Yours is, yes. Okay. A card with permanent does not count toward your deck size. A card with a permanent keyword still counts as being part of your deck and must therefore adhere to all deck building restrictions. A card with the permanent keyword start each, starts each game in play and is not shuffled into your investigator deck during setup. A card with the permanent keyword cannot be discarded by any means. All right, well, there we go. Now we'll, now we'll know. Let's get some more medicines. Yes. Hopefully we'll be able to start our next. I didn't look to see if we get to start our next game with uh, any more supplies. With any more supplies. I'm hoping we do. Mm. But uh, we'll find out what happens next time on Munchkin Land. Thank you so much for checking us out. If you're enjoying this game, please use the comment section below and just let us know if you're enjoying watching us play this game. Um, I really like my deck. I kind of was hoping that it had a little bit more of the willpower in here than, than the intellect because I'm supposedly an intellect monster here. I mean, I'm a monster, but not, you know, I'm not an intellect monster. Um, and let me know if you remember. <laughs> and of course, uh, let us know if you enjoy this. And if you are enjoying this and you want to see shows like this continue, I know we had a lot of breaks. There were some issues that we had with some of the previous games and just some overall scheduling conflicts. But uh, if you want to see games like this continue and you want to support our channel and maybe be able to hire a couple of editors to help us out, then by all means, head over to patreon.com slash major spoilers. And if even if a hundred of you who are watching this sign up at the $5 level, I'll be able to hire someone to come in and help us edit these shows so that we can get them out to you on a more regular basis. Uh, so it's at patreon.com slash major spoilers. Thank you to everyone who is already a patron and supporting everything that we do at major spoilers. 13 years doing this crazy stuff. Let's hope for 13 more. And until next time, remember, it's not cheating if you don't get caught. Mm -hmm.